How y'all feeling from last week? You doing okay? Let's see what else is to come. Let's get started for the week beginning November 25th, 2019. Hey guys, I'm Michelle Patterson with Angel Souls. And again, this is our weekly angelic message for the week beginning November 25th, 2019. I never know what I'm going to do week to week as far as like getting a message through. <sighs> I think what I'm feeling here is I'll do, I'm not gonna do a full channel here, but I'm gonna tune in, you're gonna see me be quiet, it might be awkward, whatever, hi, I'm with you, okay? Um, <laughs> and as things come forward, I'll just pop out and give them to you. Cool, I think we call that mediumship. It's a thing, look it up. All right, so I'm gonna get a little closer to the camera here. That way I can be closer to you. <laughs> and here we go. So this is again for the week, beginning November 25th, 2019. Let's see what messages we have. Time of abundance, very nice. Not being so strict on how you define that abundance. Yeah, so if you are one of those people, and I, I'm kind of one of those people, I try not to be, but I am, uh, where we define abundance as give me the money, okay? I wanna have all my debt paid off. You know what all I want for my life is a Manfrotto tripod. I have a cheapy little tripod that wiggles and jiggles and scares me to death. I have a Canon 80D, which is like, kind of a heavy camera on this stupid tripod makes me nervous but like you know that's how I define it it's like if I could just pay off all my debt and get the Manfrotto tripod and life is good right just having that kind of idea of abundance right can be really really limiting so sometimes abundance is having an abundance of support okay remember that um letting people get behind you on things, allowing yourself to feel loved and supported. That's very abundant as well. Abundance can also be, as we were just saying, love. I mean, if you're looking for a love partner, for some of you, oh, this is interesting. So for some of you, maybe you've been uh, single for so long, or let's just say you've given up on relationships, okay? <laughs> and I feel you, right? Um, and, and maybe you've gotten into this place where it's like, well, it's a small price to pay for my freedom and my safety. Even for some of you, it's a sense of safety, whether that's emotional, mental, or physical safety, okay? Uh, you might start going into that what is just completely a big thing in this world, which is to take either this very... Um, I'm just thinking now like how people approach this. Some people actually get very dogmatic about relationships. You have to be married by this age. You have to do this. So there's that. And then on this other end, there are people who have basically sworn off relationships entirely. And they start to take very shallow approaches. Um, you always hear people be like, hey, I'm not looking for anything serious. You don't know that. You don't know who you're going to fall in love with. That cracks me up. Have you ever been on online dating? Leave your comments down below. It cracks me up when someone's like on online dating, they're like, I'm not looking for anything serious. Like, you don't know if you're going to fall in love with me or not, okay? <laughs> I might be super charming. You don't know. Um, so this is what I'm talking about here. So you might find yourself, if you've been, you know, single for a long time, if you got out of a bad relationship, you might find yourself uh, kind of taking that approach to relationships, like not having one, right? So you might go into something going, no, you know, no pressure, no whatever. And slowly you start to fall in love and slowly you start to open yourself. This isn't going to happen in one week. Okay. Maybe for someone, okay. <laughs> Maybe you've already started this process and by this week, the energy is there. So just be open to new ideas. For some of you, this is completely opening up what you feel your life's path and purpose is. We get really, I love that people are interested in their path and purpose and all of that. Um, you know, I go into that in a lot of the courses that I have up. I do have the teachable platform for the moment. If you see that link missing down below, it's because I canceled it. <laughs> okay. Um, it seems like people aren't that comfortable with that platform. I, do, I, I'm out of ideas, guys. People weren't comfortable with Gumroad. They're not comfortable with Teachable. I don't know. But um, I do go into that in some of those courses. So whichever platform you want to go to, the information is down below about finding your life's path. Uh, you know, it's under different archangels. So you can you can look at those in the offerings there. Or you can get a personal reading, angelsouls444.com if you want a personal reading. But what we're talking about here is this is the kind of energy where you go, okay, I realize that my purpose here is to be human. <laughs> right? And in a manner to have 
uh, experiences. It's almost like I've said this before. It's like we're, we're reporting back to the universe what it is to be in this realm, in this dimension, in this time space continuum. That sounds so sci-fi, but <laughs> we're, we're being little reporters. Okay. If you want to see it that way. So when people start coming out their life's path and purpose and defining it as career, boy, you could not be more third dimensional ego consciousness than that. <laughs> right? It's like, oh, I meant to make a lot of money. I meant to be famous. I meant to, listen, people have read my astrological chart and they have said that I am meant to be famous. Like I will have fame, uh, great fortune, uh, life path one. So yeah, there might be loneliness there or distrust of people. That's what someone told me. I don't, I'm not really into that stuff. I want to study it, but I haven't done it yet. <laughs> but, um, you know, and I'm not famous. It's not like literally famous, nor is that that important to me. I, it's just, I want to have reach and I want to, the real purpose is to serve the highest good of everyone involved. That's everyone's purpose, okay? So the way that I can channel that in, in this sense of abundance is having an understanding that whatever platform is available to me to have reach, it's not about being famous. It's about bringing a message forward for whoever wants to listen to it, right? So that's what we're talking about here. We get too hung up on like, oh, fame means this, <laughs> all right? Fame just means exposure. It just means that people can see you right? So, you know, or you get hung up on how you're defined. Okay. We can go on and on and on with that. But the whole message here is this opening up and this discovery of what your path is, but it's from a heart space, not the ego space. Cool. Let me go in here a little bit more and let's see. Shockingly enough, I mean, I think people are going to be I'm, I'm, I'm seeing laying down the swords. So everyone's laying down their arguments. Everyone's saying, you know, I give up, <laughs> but it's not this, uh, like I give up cause I'm frustrated. It's just sort of like, this is going nowhere. It's senseless. Are you ready to be done? Yeah, I'm ready to be done. So there could be some peacemaking going on here, some compromising. It might be short lived. Yeah, I'm hearing it's going to be short lived, but your interpersonal relationships, this is like kind of a week where you're more, you're ready to lay down some of the old stuff, whatever it is, arguments or worries or plans, even, you know, like your plans, you're laying down your plans, <laughs> right? So those plans kind of get laid aside so that you can just feel what is, ah, feel what is and not like, oh, I'll be happy when. It's already here. It's happening now, right? So you're going to have some deeper understanding of that. So let's see what else we have here. Flow, harmony. You can access this. We can all access this right now, but will we choose it? That's the thing, right? <laughs> so if you want to choose it this week, we can have flow. We can have harmony. Um, this doesn't mean that you're pretending that things didn't happen or, you know, you're letting someone get away with something. It's not necessarily that. It's just giving everything a break. And they're saying by giving everything a break, you do end up having a bit of drop the deck. You know me. Um, <laughs> by giving everything a break you'll end up having a breakthrough. Oh, does that mean I have a breakthrough in my career, but it's how I, oh, maybe, but oh. <laughs> Stop getting hung up on that, okay? <laughs> you have a bigger plan on a soul level than how you make your paycheck, okay? All right, guys, so let's see what we have here. Oh, you know what? I didn't look here in the United States. We have Thanksgiving. What day is that? I didn't look it up. Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> if it's happening this week, I think it is. All right. Be careful on Black Friday. One more shuffle. I think shall do it. Good. Mm, good. Okay. We have the secret. Oh, you know, okay. I talk about this all the time, but the secret is your own. It's your own secret. It's a bit of self-discovery this week, guys. Okay. And when you open up, when you understand your, yourself better, then you can interact with others on a deeper level. 
they start to open up to you as well. So the walls start to come down. That's really what I want to say. Like the walls start coming down. The flow starts happening. We start appreciating our fellow humans instead of trying to blame them for everything that's ever happened in our lives or like, you know, how we're seen or perceived instead of taking ownership of how much of your true authentic self you allow to come out. Don't let yourself be the secret. Okay. Don't allow that. You don't need to be mysterious. All right. To be interesting. Let people see who you are. Hopefully it's for good. <laughs> all right. Not for bad. All right. So the next card we have for this week is surrender. Look at this guys. It's like we're giving into the peace, the harmony. We are not even going to mess with things anymore. Anymore. This is sort of like, I would even dare say taking a nap. Like she's sleeping. <laughs> all right. So you are, as we said before, you're laying down the swords, you're surrendering a situation and you might even be surrendering to, uh, hiding or coming out of hiding. That's what I want to say. The secret is almost coming out of hiding and letting yourself be seen, but you're resting. You're not putting pressure on yourself. It's a beautiful balance here. It's sort of, um, I'm going to say yes to the things that feel right to do. I'm going to say no to the rest. So for some of you, that means I'm not going to just give in to somebody because they have a big personality. Uh, and they just always expect me to pick up the slack for them. I mean, I've had the weird, <laughs> I have people still that will email me, message me and expect me. They treat me like an assistant. They treat me like an assistant here. Can you look this up for me or here? Can you tell, look up the, the biggest one is, can you leave a link for me? Um, all you have to do is take the words I just told you and type it into Google and it will come up. Yeah, but can you just send me a link? Ooh, so for some of you, this is an important message. Um, I've had strange things where people have asked me to do things and I'm like, you meant this for someone else, right? Like that's how off the request is. It's like, you didn't, you didn't really mean to send this to me, right? <laughs> like it's so weird. So for a lot of you out there, you have people who treat you as if you are there to serve them. And you might be going, okay, so the surrender doesn't mean surrendering to that person. That's not what we're talking about here. Okay. We're talking about, I'm going to surrender this fight. I'm not going to return that phone call. If they get mad, they get mad. <laughs> All right. So let this be a week where you're really in tune with yourselves, uh, and putting your foot down. And you know what people might, might say, Oh, well, it's so cowardly to just like not answer someone just Okay, here, I got another good example. I had some toxic people, toxic people. That's like my specialty, I think, because um, I've, I've lived a whole life of experiencing that. We don't have to get into that here. It would be a boring story for you, I suppose. But um, I knew somebody who she assumed that if she called, I should drop everything and have a conversation with her. She was very pushy, demanding, entitled to my time and I never enjoyed my time with her. So even if I did pick up the phone, I couldn't wait to get off because all it was, was her complaining about her life, not, not ever supporting me and what was going on with me. And at the time I was going through things that were like, I could use a friend, <laughs> you know, and she didn't care. And then there was one time I just didn't call her back and I got this message and this, <laughs> the tone of her voice was like, um, yeah. So you need to call me back, okay? Because we're going to talk. I'm like, we're never going to talk again. <laughs> Peace. Uh, so, and, and that was that. The reason why I give you this example is that I know societally speaking, people have these little weird rules and they kind of try to, you know, say, this is how you do things and you're bad if you don't. Make your own rules, okay? If you have somebody that, you know, you're like, you're always just sucking up my time, okay? You don't have to call them back. Cool. All right. So we have this other card here, which is acceptance. Yes. And you're like, you know what? If you don't like it too bad, <laughs> you know what? So I have debt. Okay. I'll work on that. You know what? So I'm not in the home I want to be in. Oh, or I need to work on my relationship. You're just kind of accepting where you are. And this is a powerful thing to do because from that place of acceptance, now you're just letting yourself flow. Now you're, you're, it's the same kind of thing with feeling gratitude. You suddenly kind of click into place, <laughs> right? Where it just feels good, right? You just adjusted and coming to a place of acceptance, you're realizing I'm just, remember the life's path and purpose is to be human and you're doing that perfectly. 
As a matter of fact, the more mistakes you make, the more human you are. So there you go, <laughs> all right? So by accepting, and for some of you, it's accepting others and not trying to change them, okay? but you can change how much of your time you give them and how you respond to them. We know this, right? Just letting you know again, okay? <laughs> and then we have Sophia. So this divine feminine wisdom, okay? Blessings coming from allowing this higher consciousness to flow through you. And this is an energy of compassion. Um, I'm feeling the energy of Mother Mary as well. She didn't come out. She has her own card in this deck, but um, I have that energy around here as well. But really take that in. Take in the blessings. And there's this sort of violet color on here that reminds me of the violet flame. So in your space of acceptance, now you're in capacity. You're, you have a capacity to come into your full charge, <laughs> if you want to say it that way. Um, you would know, see it that way and kind of just realize, okay, you know what, this is, this is an energy leak and I'm going to just, you know, not with judgment, right? I see a lot of the comments where it's like, this person did this to me and this to me and you know what, I'm, not, I'm just going to cut you off and you're not going to leak my energy. Uh, so they're taking what I'm saying here in the reading and they're twisting it to fit their narrative and then pushing it at someone. Mm, maybe not, okay? Let's let's try not to. Divine feminine energy, all right? Sort of like, um, sorry, I'm bumping into things over here. So taking, I'm hearing even like God force energy, if you want to see it that way, bringing that in, letting the peace flow through you, okay? All right, let's get a color card. I gave you guys four cards, right? Yeah, okay. Let's get a color card going here. Keep the peace, keep the peace, keep the peace, keep the peace. You don't have to engage. And again, it's not an ego pursuit. I'm not going to engage. <laughs> you ever know those people, they come along, they, they just say the rudest things, they get you all riled up and they're like, and then you're like, hey, that was rude. Okay, you know what? I'm not gonna engage with you. You're being ridiculous. <laughs> Woo, all right. Well, you might come across an example came up to be said and to be heard. So maybe some of you have someone who does that. Um, <laughs> you'll, you'll know what to do in the moment. Fear not. All right. So our color card is turquoise. Awaken your empathy. The number is 34 reduces to seven. So here we go. Look at that. Just kind of being in that peaceful state. And turquoise is very peaceful. It is speaking your truth though as well, but gently and lovingly. And, um, this empathy part of it here is talking about, you know what, sometimes people are just operating from a really weird space, <laughs> okay? I mean, I cannot tell you how many times I've been coming across somebody who, they're being completely rude. Um, I don't know what it is all of a sudden where people want to push my age in my face. I'd be like, oh, you're getting older now. This is, and this is gonna happen. <laughs> It's a very different time. Right? <laughs> I have access to other things to zippy zappy and <laughs> lift my face off the floor. Okay, you know, just, just leave me be. But, you know, <laughs> when, when I hear stuff like that, it's very, you know, I think for a lot of us, it's very easy to go, okay, excuse me. And yeah, you want to set a boundary if it's getting out of hand. But this awakened empathy, I think, is talking about starting to go a little deeper with it, okay? Knowing that that person probably is age obsessed on themselves. And so they're projecting that out on everybody, okay? Or maybe they're super controlled at home. So that boss, when they, you'd be surprised. Like some of these executives and, you know, people, they, they don't have the best home life. And so they, you know, <laughs> their self-esteem is at work. And so that's where they can have control over things. And maybe they go too far. So the empathy is asking us to tune into the heart space. What does it feel like when we're around somebody? Not what the brain is telling you you should think about that person or how you should perceive them, but rather what's the feeling you get from them? Yes, I had somebody in my workspace, whenever this person would come around, I seriously would start like panicking. I'd start getting severe anxiety and everybody was like, why don't you like him? He likes you. Isn't that, well, oh, excuse me, let's don't get started on like, hey, this person likes you, so you have to <laughs> like them back. I'm just like, I don't know, I can't explain it intellectually. I just know that my empathy is open and it tells me to be cautious with this person. So that's the other benefit of the empathy. So you could kind of feel where their story is. So, you know, you have some compassion for that, but your empathy is also going to be a big protection tool as well. I know that's a little weird because a lot of empaths out there be like, are you kidding me? 
<laughs> I, mean, I could use a little more protection, but if you learn to hone those skills, you'll learn to trust yourself when someone comes around and you don't get the best feeling from them to not feel like you owe them something. Just because they like you doesn't mean you have to like them back. <laughs> you can have love and respect for them as a human being, but you don't have to give in to their every whim and will and, you know, be there for them and all this stuff. So there's a big thing here. I, mean, I guess there's this week there's a lot of empaths that are watching. I think that's a big part of my audience. But a lot of people who are su super sensitive or people who are not so sensitive who want to take advantage of the sensitive people. Either way, uh, empaths, you're gaining your strength. You're really learning how to embrace this and to take care of yourselves. Okay? So... There might be a little more swaying back and forth, but pretty soon we're gonna come back into center, into alignment, into this balance. And then we're all just gonna have to take it from there. <laughs> I don't know what comes after that, but it's all about surrender, acceptance. We're not pushing. We're not, we're gonna be in our wisdom. You know, we are going to go, you know what the secret is? The soul is my source of power. God is my source of power. My connection to God is through my soul. I am of God, you know, whatever that is. That's really the wisdom and the secret that you want to tap into this week. Okay, so I think we're going to leave it there. <laughs> I'm sending you all so much love and take care.